Hello, Scorpio. Any placement of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. Um, this is your reading for June 1st through the 15th, 2022. Welcome if you're new. Welcome back, subscribers. Uh, we are out of eclipse season. We're building to the super full moon in Sagittarius on June 14th. And also Mercury moves direct on June 2nd and 3rd. So, so much energy in these last few weeks. I'm curious how you guys have been doing. Also, the link below to my website. I am a clairvoyant psychic reader and healer. I specialize in distance readings and healings. Um, so it does not matter where you live or how far apart we are. Um, you'll also see there is a 15% discount for you off your very first session with me. So you can take advantage of that if you feel called to do so. Okay, let's get you an overall energy, Scorpio. Oh, okay. A very Scorpio card. We've got the Bat Spirit. A rebirth is assured. I mean, you are the sign of rebirth, death and rebirth, over and over, Scorpio. So this is perfectly aligned for you. Um, you are going through another um, shift, change, releasing, healing, letting go of what's not in alignment for you. And um, I'm just seeing that this is actually a really positive thing and this rebirth feels lighter and it feels more easy to me. Um, it could be with what the eclipses have, you know, kind of brought to the surface and Mercury retrograde, what that has helped us clean up. But no matter what, this rebirth is assured. So it's a good thing, Scorpio. It's needed. It's going to help you kind of move forward into the next level of your evolution and your ascension and growth. I'm also noticing that it is the number five, which is the number of change and expansion as well. Okay, let's see what else we've got for you. All right, second row is your specific person. Those of you dealing with a specific person, what do we need to know about them? And third row is any clarifying messages. Scorpio, what else do we need? Okay, beautiful. Cards are out. Wow, you've got a lot of major arcana cards. Two, four, five major arcana cards out here. First up, Scorpio, we've got the lovers, the eight of swords, and the moon card. So... All right, there is a very deep, strong spiritual bond and connection that you have with somebody, Scorpio. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be a lover. This can be a family member, a friendship, just somebody that you're connected with in your life, but there is a deep spiritual connection. So you may feel like you just can't release the, the connection or the relationship, or you're just, there's somebody that is just always kind of there for you. And with that, there's a little bit of blocked energy here around the understanding of what this connection is. I'm kind of feeling this Eight of Swords energy is not you. This is on their side. So this spiritual bond or this connection that you have with this other person, they're not really capable of recognizing the connection or the power i should say the power of this connection there's so much room for growth that you both can be offering one another and i feel scorpio you are there you can see that but they are not they are blocked they are unable to see the opportunity for true growth and expansion here within this connection with you and the moon card is really bringing a lot of deeper um, fears and anxieties to the surface so that they can be healed and released. The moon card is very much about our um, deepest inner desires and wishes. You know, what we truly wish and desire for ourselves at a deep level. But on the surface of that is the fear, the anxiety, all the everything in the way of us getting to that. So I feel the moon card is really showing up here because um, the fears and the anxieties are just tr too prevalent for this spiritual connection to really grow and ascend any further. So it's almost like maybe this, you know, the rebirth that is assured is, is trusting that this person is where they need to be. There's nothing that you can do for them and just pulling your energy back to you. So really interesting um, energies here. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You also could be dealing with a Cancer, okay? And I've got strong um, air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius out here as well. I already said Gemini, but it could be a Libra or an Aquarius. 
Okay, second row, your specific person, those of you dealing with a specific person, we've got the Hermit, Four of Swords, and the Magician here. So, okay, the Hermit card and the Four of Swords, which is kind of a mini Hermit card. So you've got two cards here that are about um, really pulling back the energy, going into Hermit mode, shutting down, closing off from the outside world, going within however you want to phrase that. So your specific person has been in, I don't want to say a dark place because I'm not seeing that, but like in a place where they're kind of closed off from the outside world or their friends, their family, their community. There's a huge energy of this like pulling within to get whatever this lesson is. So this could be why they've been so stuck. Um, they could be pulling within without really understanding or knowing why this is happening, but these two cards, there's a lot of energy here. So something is, is not fully being dealt with and faced, and it's being kind of covered up by this going into hermit mode, sweeping it under the rug, not communicating what needs to be communicated. And with that is also a little bit of, I'm hearing the word depression. So they've kind of pulled within. They're feeling a little bit depressed when really they just need to face um, themselves and this inner this inner stuff that's going on within them, okay? Because that's what's gonna give them their power back. That's what's gonna help them realize and recognize their potential, their gifts, what they have to offer, that they actually do have you know, power in what they create in their life. They are at the core of creation for their life, for their reality, that all of that comes from within, from the inner beliefs, from the subconscious, from the stories that we tell ourselves, from the thoughts, all of that. And it's almost like they're denying themselves this beautiful, expansive power of taking responsibility for every area of their life. So um, this is kind of where your specific person is at, Scorpio. They're, they're really going through it. So a, a you know full focus on the relationship with you may not be possible at this time. You may even be in separation because of this. I mean, this person just to me feels like they're not able to give properly to a relationship to a partnership, to a commitment. They're just very wrapped up in themselves. But because the magician is the outcome here, I'm seeing that there is a, a really beautiful possibility that they may wake up, they may get it, they may get that leap of, you know, the paradigm shift and the expansion happening and coming through here, which would be amazing. So um, you could be dealing with a Virgo and more air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius in that row. All right, third row, wow, look at this, a Scorpio. We've got Page of Cups, Two of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. So um, remember I was saying there is a good possibility this person, your specific person, may get it. They may wake up. They may get the clarity. Um, so this could be them really coming through with this soulmate connection in divine timing and fate. If that's not the case for you, then I see somebody brand new coming in for you, Scorpio. And the energy that I'm feeling around these cards is really like juicy and sweet and just feels really, really good. So Page of Cups, their energy is going to be playful, lighthearted, a little bit goofy. I see you just feeling really comfortable around this person. And the Two of Cups is bringing an energy of like a soulmate connection. Um, a, a lighter soulmate connection, you know, not one that's going to take you digging deep to deep, deep, dark healing. No, this soulmate connection is lighter. Um, it feels, it just feels good. And I love the Two of Cups energy because to me that is like a partnership that is eye to eye, heart to heart, soul to soul. So you're both coming in with the intention of giving and receiving equally in a healthy way, in a mature way, and in a way that serves each other and the self as well. And the Wheel of Fortune here is just kind of sealing the deal for you. This is fate, divine timing, things moving in your favor. To me, this card represents the clock of the universe. So it's all in perfect timing, divine timing, however you wanna look at it. So really beautiful cards out here, Scorpio. I feel those of you dealing with a specific person or even if that person is from the past, um, there's a lot of karma being healed and released in that regard. That came through with the Hermit card here. Um, and also you just going through your own rebirth, Scorpio. I feel, you know, earlier I felt this was a good thing, a, a lighter energy rebirth, a more easy rebirth. And 
It could be you just moving into lighter stages of your path, of your journey, and things aren't going to feel so, so heavy and so difficult to move through, especially in regards to love and the heart, um, which is amazing. I'm really happy for you if this is resonating. So you could have a water, another water sign coming through. I already mentioned strong cancer energy, um, but also Pisces if it's not another Scorpio. Also Gemini is coming through strongly. Virgo is coming through strongly and um, Aquarius and Libra as well. Okay, those are kind of the main energies here for you. All right, let's get you any other messages. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it when there's repeating messages. You've got the playfulness card. I really was seeing and feeling that for you here with this Page of Cups energy. Time to slough off the heaviness, the hard lessons, the challenges, Scorpio, and to really lighten up and allow things to be light, allow things to be playful. Give yourself permission to, you know, have things be easy and effortless and flowing for you in regards to love, in regards to lessons, in regards to your path, etc. So this is just another confirming message for you that the playfulness is really, really important right now. Beautiful. Okay, let's get you a spirit animal message. Ooh, okay, I love it. You've got the loon, intuitive. Listen to the song in your soul. Trust your intuition as you have a way of knowing. That is so true, Scorpios. Emerge from the busy life and seek more solitude. Wow, all this hermit energy. Recognize that you are unique and that you are loved. Beautiful, I love the message around seeking solitude to really get the clarity and connect in with yourself. And listen to the song in your soul, Scorpio. That is gonna be leading you to these lighter energies, these easier energies, these you know more playful connections. And you're so, so ready for that. So I love this spirit animal message for you. You've got the loon through June 15th for you. I think that's all that's coming through. I hope this resonates. You can always watch your moon sign, your rising, or really any other placement of Scorpio. Thank you for the likes and subscribes. They do make a difference. And if you missed the intro, I am a clairvoyant psychic reader and healer. I specialize in distance readings and healings. Um, it does not matter where you live. I, I've been working with clients all around the world for the last full uh, four years doing this full time. Um, you will see a link below to my website. All the information is there. Also, there is a 15% discount off your very first session with me, so you can take advantage of that if you feel called to do so. Okay, so that is it, Scorpio. I'm wishing you a beautiful start to June, and I will see you back here for the second half of June readings. Take care.